Hello gamers, I'm Putin Giggle here to bring you a starter guide to Star Wars Battlefront 3, the information you need to know to get started. Alright, when we first get the game open, it comes to this menu right here, the main menu. You will have multiplayer and you will have missions. I know it is so tempting just to go to multiplayer, but hold up, we should take a break and we should really go check out missions. The reason being is during multiplayer, you are put against other people who are going to be relatively the same level as you and who also will have relatively the same kill to death ratio as you. All right, so you're going in with absolutely nothing. At least if we go to missions, I'm going to show you how you can at least go in with over 9,000 credits. All right, you get the missions, you will have training, battles, and survival. All right, let's go in the training. Here is where you're going to learn the core mechanics of this game. You're going to learn how to fly X-Wings. You're going to learn how to have ATSDs. All right. Next thing is, as we go in, now each one actually has objectives. Especially each training mission has three objectives to be precise. And they have credits corresponding to those objectives. The great thing is you do not need to complete all objectives in a single playthrough. You don't. So you can actually focus on one, come back, and then do another. That way, you can get all of these done relatively quickly and have over 2,000 credits for online use. Now, battles and survival are two completely different ways of playing. In battles, you pretty much are going to have a you and three or four rebels going up against three or four imperials all right survival is really you against 15 waves of imperials all right but the thing you want to complete are exactly the same all right at least in battles when you play as a hero or you could play as a villain you can try out every single one so before you go online away and you know how to use them now, here, for um, remember, battle and survival, what you want to do is you want to complete normal difficulty and you want to get all the collectibles. The reason being is all the collectibles, you can get them all without engaging any enemies. You can, you can get most of them. And the good thing is, is just doing for all the battles and all survival, you will get over 7,000 credits. So you can do all three of these. Go into multiplayer with over 9,000 credits. Then, when we go back, then you are actually ready for online. However, if we go to collect, you can see we have diorama, which are just figurines that, you know, kind of shows you your accomplishments, things you did, you know, they'll show up for instance they'll show up certain things you did during battles and survival and online use unlocks is stuff that you know will show you different star cards you have or unlock blasters and your appearance and you can change all of that right here now in future videos i am going to be covering all the missions including the training ones i will be talking about the star cards the blasters the appearances different loadouts i think you have i will be going through all of that so make sure you check out my future videos you know now for stats multiplayer those stats are strictly for your multiplayer play it'll tell you what your win to loss ratio is it'll tell you of course you see kill to death different objectives you can have or challenges and then of course we have star wars battle front companion which is a mobile mini game that you can take on the go. You can download it from the App Store. It is completely free. You can also actually manage your Battlefront character. You can check its stats. You can check stuff you've unlocked. You can actually change your loadouts and your even your weapon appearance. You can change all of that. Plus, at the same time, when you're on the go, you're bored, you're sitting in a doctor's office, you can at least, you know... Play the little mini game, get some credits, log on, have a couple hundred, maybe a thousand credits, depending on how much you play. All right, next we have Season Pass. You can, of course, here you can buy it, take a look at it, um, expansion packs, 
And then, of course, we have settings, you know, controls. Of course, this is where you come to invert stuff. So if people need to invert, this is where you'll come. And then, you, of course, you have your gameplay, your audio, video, and, of course, your EA account. And if you want to check out the credits, that's where you're going to go. All right. Well, thank you for watching. And remember, gamers, continue gaming.